Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you the best and most effective build for the Reduvia, an amazing weapon that you can obtain very early on the game. This is definitely the most broken dagger in all of Elden Ring, and the guy that tells you that this is not truth is because he's using it wrong. Today I'll show you how you can see the true potential of this weapon, and I'm going to be using this build to defeat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. To get the most out of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 25 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, we don't need to level up strength at all, this is the minimum of my starter class, 46 on dexterity, 25 on faith and 80 on arcane. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Me Strength are going to be our main buffs, but Blood Boil Aromatic is a better body buff than Flame Grand Me Strength, just keep that on mind. And if you want to build a bleed faster, you can use the Swarm of Flies, it's going to be extremely useful. As you can see, I have my Scattership Blessing on the level 20, and if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. We are going to be using the Reduvia on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. Also, we are going to use any weapon with the Raptor Optimista Shovar to easily dodge the Radan's Light Explosion attack and the Commander Gaius Charge attack. And as our main weapon is a dagger, the stance damage it deals is very low. So to help me with that task, I'm going to be using the Club on plus 25 with the Crack Blade Dash of War on the Bleed Affinity. And to increase our damage when using the Reduvia's Blood Blade, we are going to use the entire Ansbach set. Remember that this armor set will dramatically increase the performance of the Dying as the skills. My favorite ones of this list are the Reduvia's Blood Blade, the Corpse Pillar from the Rivers of Blood, the Dynastic Sickle Play from the Obsidian Lamina, and the Dynast Finesse from the Bloody Helis. Now, if you want to increase your damage a little bit when getting the Bleed Procs, you can replace the helmet of this armor set with the White Mask. But right now, we are buffing the skill of the weapon by almost 15%. If we replace the helmet with the White Mask, we are going to get a maximum of 16% extra damage. So it's not worth using that ugly mask for only 1% or 2% at max of extra damage. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Millicent's Prosthesis, and the Rodden Windsor Insignia. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. If you don't want to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear, you can replace it with any other tier you find useful. With this build, we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why your best body buff is going to be Blood Boy Aromatic. But if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength. This weapon consumes a decent amount of stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Torten Legs to boost your stamina recovery speed. But this time it doesn't consume a lot of stamina so I will say that it's completely optional. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then you are going to cast Golden Vow and you are going to use a Pickle Turtle Neck. Just after that you are going to cast your body buff. In this case, I will use Blood Boil Aromatic, but you can use Flame Grand Me Strength if you don't have this item. Now refill your FP, your HP, and with that you should be ready to go. And if you want to proc bleed faster, you can use the Swarm of Flies as soon as you enter the boss fight. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Okay, I use the... No, I will not have enough time. Maybe here I will have enough time. Oof, that was barely... Yeah, that was close. Oh my god. Okay, okay, this is good. I'm gonna spam it like crazy, bro. Come on. He's about to get destroyed. Come on. Come on. Oh, beautiful damage, bro. <laughs> nice. Just go have fun with the weapon. Destroy the, the HP bar of the bosses. And if you want to make it a little bit more interesting, just try to not get hit. And that's interesting. As you can see, the damage I'm dealing is more than decent. Oh, let's go. And that's it. Oh, beautiful, bro. <laughs> nice. As you can see, this is the easy mode. So the secret with this guy is to attack him as soon as he explodes, guys. That way you will gain an advantage. Oh, beautiful, bro. Come on. And get destroyed, bad boy. Come on. Careful. No serpent at all. Let's go, baby. Nice. 
Okay, so we use it and we deal as much stance damage as possible without breaking her, of course. Nice, we dealt that one. That's very nice. Okay, here we can use the jump attack. Oh, oh that's perfect. That's perfect. That's extra stance damage. Let's go. And we break her hair. Here. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Come on. Not a chance. Not a chance, bro. <laughs> that was very close. <laughs> but remember, the most important part is that as soon as you enter the arena, you cast the swarm of flies. You can run a little bit forwards. You can cast it once more here. That's very good. And you attack him twice. And careful with that thing. He's not doing nothing weird. Very nice. This is a good energy. Oh. It was a good RNG. Oh, this one is a good RNG as well. Spam it! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This guy is fantastic. Spam it here. Oh, pure destruction. Say goodbye, bad boy. Say goodbye. Oh, pure destruction. <laughs> Let's go. Now we use Blood Boil Aromatic. And we are ready to destroy our little friend. Maybe our big friend, not too little. What is going on, bro? Okay. That wasn't my smartest move. But... Oh my god! You have to be kidding, bro. The RNG is going wild on me right now. What? Okay, but the buffs we are using are a little bit better. Another boss. Just get down! My god, he's resistant this time! I'm going to secure it with a jump attack. No! The RNG is quite weird! Finally! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Dude, it took longer than it has to be! The first phase was very dumb. Come on, little guy! Let's have a little bit of fun. Oh, oh nice. That's amazing. <laughs> I love his scream, bro. It's amazing. No, his scream, I mean. Come on, get destroyed! Let's go, baby! Come on! <laughs> and at this point, you use Crack Blade and prepare your dagger to dodge the attack of this guy. It's very simple, just prepare the dagger, use the skill, and you dodge successfully. Now, to hand the club and start dealing stance damage. Oh, I didn't deal anything. Oh, this is good. Okay. We can deal everything that we need here. The first heavy attack and the second one. And here we are going to deal the light. And here we start with the Reduvia. Perfect. Come on. Destroy him. Come on. Quickly. Oh! <laughs> Very close. 